Getting older can bring many unwelcome changes, but now a breakthrough procedure can help reverse some of the more embarrassing side effects of menopause. And the best part is you can get it done over your lunch break. Oh, We're going to learn easy. about okay. that later. Welcome back to We Are Austin. If you are a new mom or have menopause-related problems, then help is here. There is a new non-invasive painless procedure to alleviate those issues and a whole lot more. Dr. Jennifer Walden is here with her patient, Tammy Ship to show us how it works and tell us all the details. Good morning to both you Good ladies. Morning. Thank Good you morning. for being with us. So Thermiva, pronouncing that right, right? Exactly. How does it work and what does it do? Because it sounds like it's helping a lot of women out there. Well, Thermiva is a great new technology. We're the first ones in Austin to have it. It's oh, a non-invasive, painless, temperature-controlled radio frequency that takes care of a clinical problem women have been waiting on for years. Mm -hmm. And basically, it uses radio frequency or a painless probe to help shrink and tighten vaginal tissues. That can help with mild stress incontinence or leakage of urine when you laugh or jump or cough. It can help with um, cosmetic-related issues of laxity after childbearing, after episiotomy. It can help also with things like Achieving, achieving an orgasm or moisture-related issues, intimacy-related issues that can be life-changing for people mm -hmm. after several sessions. Yeah, it sounds like it covers a really wide spectrum of a lot of things that women are thinking about. You said painless and non-invasive. So how, do, how many treatments do you have? What is the experience like? Well, it's an in-office procedure that okay. uses um, this modality here. Um, this is heat or thermal energy, and this probe has only been around about a year. The technology has been on the market about three years. Okay. And basically, it's an office-based procedure that lasts 30 to 40 minutes. You come in once a month for three months, and that is basically enough treatments. A lot of people will experience an internal tightening and an external cosmetic change mm -hmm. of their labia or the vaginal area after just one treatment. Wow. But after three treatments, many people note quite a difference and may even eliminate dryness, um, atrophic vaginitis, those menopause-related mm -hmm. issues, as well as lubrication-related and orgasmic issues. And even just three treatments, that's really not that many visits. It's amazing. To see a lot of changes. So, Tammy, let's hear from you. You experienced this firsthand. Why did you go to Dr. Walden, and what kind of results have you seen? Well, I went to see Dr. Walden because I, uh, I've had three children mm -hmm. and I'm postmenopausal. So you notice some tissue changes and some dryness issues and um, some cosmetic changes in, in, the, in that area uh, when you age. And so um, I decided that I wanted to go and see her. And I also have some bladder issues. and. Um, it has, it has helped with that also because it, I've been told that I have uh, weak pelvic floor muscles. Mm -hmm. And so whenever um, I had the procedure done, um, I could tell right away um, just from having the first treatment, you could see external and, in, and notice internal changes also. Wow, that's really so impressive. So I am super excited. So it was a really positive experience for you. It was a very positive experience. Well, that's good to hear. And you know, there are a couple options out there. Why is this one? unique. Well, I mean, yes, uh, Kegel exercises or exercises that a person does to help with the pelvic floor looseness, those can only do so much. And then other options um, are gynecologic surgical related options, but there's never been that non-invasive in between really. Mm -hmm. And this helps bridge that gap for those um, changes after pregnancy, perimenopausal issues, and it can help that without a surgical procedure, which can have some complications, downtime, right. and some functional related issues postoperatively as well. Right, so this is a really great option. Tammy, thanks for sharing your story. You know, it's something that happens to a lot of women, but we don't always get the chance to talk about. So thanks for having that dialogue so people know there are options out there. And Dr. Walden, thanks for bringing this to Austin. Mm -hmm. So there's so all the information up on the screen. You can check her out at drjenniferwalden.com or you can go to social media media, you always have great information and posts up there about what you're up to as well. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, guys. All right, Jordan, over to you. How's it going?